Damo, huge congratulations. Victory here in the Grand Slam of Darts against Glenn Durrant. A big victory scoreline as well. You must be over the moon to be off and running after yesterday. Yeah, most definitely just happy with the win. Um, not, I, I really want to beat, you know, playing Glenn Durrant, I really want to beat him at his best. There's... To, to accept it in one sense is good, but accept it in another sense that he didn't play well. I can't, I can't justify it as a as a win against you know he's the Premier League champion, and uh, I'm never going to accept that as a as a definite win. I will when next time I play him, which I, I, I definitely will. I'll um I'll I'll expect better things and and better things for myself. After the defeat yesterday, was there some nerves and some added pressure going into the game today? As it must win. Now, nah, look, I, yesterday I, I, I come into the tournament, obviously coming off the World Series, I, I played decent. I played really steady like, like I do. I, I'm, a, I'm a steady player, don't get me wrong. Um, and playing another steady player like James Wade, he is, you know, his checkouts were, were great. Um, I, and I can't fault him on that game. He just played so well. And I, and I think he probably had it out for me because I, am, I was 2-0 up. So, <laughs> um, for him to take that win, well done. I'm not, I'm not bitter about it. He, he was the better man on the day. And, um, yeah, all I know that i got to do is, is play my own game and just win exceptionally well. And, and hopefully I get through this group. Going into tomorrow's game, obviously, you're now right in the mix again. Fate being in your own hands against Jermaine, is that a confidence booster as well, knowing that you're not relying on anyone else? Yeah, for sure. I just, I just think if I, if I just stick to my own routine and and everything that I've been playing, I've been playing well. So there's no, yeah, there's no, there's no doubt that I that I can't win. I, I feel that I can win, and and all I got to do is just keep doing the same what I'm doing, and and it will and it will happen on the day. But if I lose, it's, I think it's going to be losing from the other player playing really well. That's that's what I feel. To show how far you've come now, that before the tournament, a lot of people were speaking about Damon Hare could possibly win the Grand Slam of Darts off of the back you've done at the World Cup and the Winter Series. You've played some fabulous stuff. How much confidence does that give you that a lot of people in the darting world are talking about you winning these big titles? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Pro Tours, obviously you're, you're playing, you're, poss- you're, you're possibly playing eight games a day. So to win one of them is like crazy good. And when you're playing these TV tournaments, you're literally rolling up for one game. So if you can prepare yourself and, and have those one good games every day or, you know, on the, on the finals day, you're probably playing two or three, don't get me wrong. But I feel if I'm doing, you know, those, those floor tournaments, if you're doing well on there, there's, there's no reason why you can't do really well on these stage tours. I mean, obviously the crowd does make a difference when, when there is a crowd, don't get me wrong. But um, but for now, if you can take every opportunity that you can get, uh, yeah, you just got to take it. And, and and I feel a lot of players are doing that right now. You're still a baby in terms of darting dreams, honestly, owner on the tour, very short space of time. How far can Damon Hetter go right now, do you believe? Yeah, I think in, in darting terms, I'm not a baby. I'm a, I'm a bit of a veteran in, the, uh, in, in Australia, so to say, obviously. Um, but... But here, obviously, I'm green as uh, very green. Um, but I'm learning. I'm learning pretty fast, and I'm always speaking to. Like I, I speak to Glenn all the time, and he's got a lot to say. And everyone in in, uh, in Max Group, they got a lot to say, and they've got a lot of experience. So I'm taking that on board, learning fast because, you know, I, I just don't want to be a bottom feeder all the time. I want to rise up fast and stay up there. You know what I mean? It's it's easy to I think to get up there rather than to to stay there. So. Yeah, I'm just going to take everything that everyone gives me and, and take it on board and do all I can. Damon, pleasure as always, mate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hi, Damon. Uh, congratulations on your result today. Um, you've already spoken about this a few times before, but we've got a lot of players uh, complaining and make, like, finding life difficult in a bubble um, and in and all these lockdown situations. But you've got a double whammy. You've got not only in a bubble, you're in a lockdown, but you're away from your family and you're away from your wife. You've got that magnified. How difficult is that to deal with? Yeah, we're we're always in a bubble. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we're just in our little one-bedroom apartment, and it and it's just us. It's me and the wife, and you know because we 
because we love each other, you know what I mean? And we're just together. And it, like, like I said, mate, we, if it wasn't for her, mate, I, I wouldn't be here. Um, she just makes me, yeah, like a, a better person in general. Um, I just, yeah, I just can't thank her enough, to be honest. Okay. And obviously, you, the team you're in as well with, with Mac Elkins' team, I mean, that's your family here, isn't it? Well, <laughs> um, well, we're not, uh, legitimately, we're not together, but, but yeah, we're yeah. together. <laughs> we're, um, I always hang out with them guys. They're just a, just a good bunch of guys, all right? They're not, um, they're never downing. They're just uh, like, I, I had the, in back in Australia, we played the, the DPA circuit and the, the, the first time I played was with, um, I ended up joining a group, the Misfits, and with Greg Walsh and we had the team there. So I enjoyed that team camaraderie. And, and, I, and I played so well knowing I had the backing of other dudes and just, you know, that environment after darts or before, you know what I mean? You, before darts, you're not alone and, and you feel more comfortable. So, and, and to, for the transition to come, to come on board with Max team, it's, it's been unreal and they've accepted me well. So, mate, I'm just going to ride it and, and, yeah, and take it all the way. Good stuff. Well, listen, thanks for your time and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Damon. Damon, well done on the win today. Just touching on, speaking of the Max team there, obviously Glenn's a part of that. Is the team rallying around Glenn at the moment and sort of lifting his, trying to lift his spirits a bit? Yeah, mate, we're just, you know what I mean? It's, uh, we're always around him. There's no two ways about it. And we, and we can only say so much, you know. Only Glenn knows what's going on with Glenn at the end of the day. So, um, I, I feel he will get at the, you know, he, he's had a rough week and, and it's obviously because it's so continuous, it just keeps continuing on. So it's a bit, it's a bit hard to, to snap straight away and, and, and start playing good darts. Like it's, uh, it's obviously, it, darts is a mental game and um, I'm sure Glenn will come out of it 110%. He's, he's such a good player not to and uh, he's been in more situations than anyone else. I'm, I'm sure he's, uh, yeah, he'll be right, mate. We know there are a lot of top players in Australia and New Zealand playing on the, the DPA and DPNZ circuit. Do you feel like you're living proof that with a bit of belief and ambition, you can, you can make it? Yeah, for sure. I, I wish more Australians and New Zealanders can, can come over because, I, you know, I haven't won every game over there, that's for sure. I've, I've played some cracking games against, yeah, New Zealanders, Australians, and, yeah, there's just a really big handful of players that, can, that could make it over here for sure. So... I hope that they, they, they do sort of make the journey. I know with the times and that now, but they can make the journey and, and just start believing in, yeah, we not just get two or three players. We, you know, we get a good handful of 10 to 12, 15 plus, you know what I mean? And start taking over. <laughs> I mean, your confidence coming in off the Winter Series was absolutely sky high. Do you feel like you're playing well enough to challenge for, for ranked majors now? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm playing steady on the floor. That's, that's no two ways about it. I think that comes with the practice and the online darts. Um, I, I, that, that, that's what I'm here for. I'm not here, uh, you know, working or just getting by. I, I'm here to play darts in, and, and, and not just at a small, uh, you know, I want to be at the top level of darts. So I, I'm just going to take every opportunity and, and do as much as I can in the short space of time.